Greetings, everyone. My name is Coley. Coley Gray. Well, at least that's what they told me my name was. See, I'm a slave. My family was brought over here over 400 years ago. That's all I know is this life. That's all I thought I would know. Till uh, about three years ago, when my wife and my boy was taken from me. Master took my, my wife and my child and sold them off. Nobody asked me how I would feel about it. Ripped my heart right out of my chest. And there was nothing I could do about it. I thought I was going to die. In fact, I wanted to die. In fact, I was dead. Until one day, a strange, strange man showed up. Told me his name was Farad. And he was from the east. And he told me that I had brothers and sisters way over in the east. And I was so fascinated by the things that he said to me. And he told me right before he came to visit me, he went to visit my wife and my child. And he told me, and like he told my wife, he said, your husband, two and a half years from now, is gonna come visit you and your boy and take y'all away. He told my wife to be at the, the railroad station at sundown, July 4th, two and a half years from now, and your husband is gonna walk down these railroad tracks and take you and his child away from you. And he told me that I was to study for him in two and a half years and that he would tell me where she was. And he did. He taught me night and day for two and a half years. He taught me things about math, science, astrology, spirituality. Taught me the Bible from cover to cover. He even taught me mastery over the human body because he told me I would need all of these things to escape. And just as that strange, strange, strange man appeared, as fast as he went away, he left me one day. But before he left, he gave me the last name Muhammad. That's what he told me I was. He said, your name is Muhammad. And he said, Muhammad, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you now. But you go and you do what I told you. And you go get your family. And you and your family go teach the rest of the world. And I cried when he left. But I knew it was my time to go now. He was finished teaching me. It is now July 4th, the day that he said that I was to leave. And I'm gonna leave. But before I go, I'ma go get my brother. He been on this plantation with me since we was boys. We're like brothers. Brother, I'm running. You're running? I'm not gonna be here when you wake up in the morning. You gonna come with me? That's all I know. That's all you know. That's all I know. And I want to know more. Don't you want to be free? I want to be free, bro. I want to go, but... Brother, stand up like a man. What's wrong with you? I'm scared, bro. I'm scared of what? White folks? No, no. Don't, don't run, bro. Please don't. If they come, if they come try to catch me, I'm going to kill them all. I'm going to kill all of them. I won't be here when you wake up in the morning. Bro. I won't be here when you wake up in the morning. You cross me, you die like the rest of them. Bro. All I want is freedom. Bro, don't leave us, bro. All I want is freedom. I love you from the bottom of my heart, but if they send you after me, you die like the rest of them. Bro, bro. You die first. We need you, bro. All I want is freedom. Bro, don't leave us, bro. All I want is freedom. Oh, everybody, everybody, step back. Don't get too close to this thing. Hey, Greg, go. Don't get too close.
They be dreaming to sing it, but won't bring it. They discuss it to touch it, but won't bust it. Won't you unlock it and cock it and just pop it? Look, they came for a protest. It's gonna be a ride, though. They scared of the police and they scared of the ride clothes. Scared of that German Shepherd and scared of that fire hose. We'll be crying with that tear gas all over his ass the road. But, but, hey. See this fella here? His name is Jasper. Jasper. He Massa's right hand nigga. Jasper so close to Massa. You would think Jasper was a white man. He loved Massa. And I knew that when I ran away, Massa was gonna send Jasper after me. Now this other fella right here, this P Rock. This Jasper's right hand man. P Rock is a very envious fella. He always hated me. Even before I escaped. He used to say I was a too good nigga because he caught me reading one day. So I knew Master was gonna send him his boys after me. P Rock, he ain't loyal to nobody. He would love to be Jasper. And this was gonna be good strides for him to round up his boys and come find me. But they knew in order to find me, they would have to go get Doc. Doc was a chocolate Indian. His father was from the Indian reservation. They also owned slaves. But Doc was a master tracker. And they knew in order to find me, they wasn't gonna get no blood half behind me. I knew how to escape from dogs. I've been on this in, on this plantation all my life. I raised these dogs. So they had to go get dog. Now this other fella, they, they went and got. He's a city slicker. Yank boy. A free man. He got papers. I vow on my life. On everything that I believe in. They won't be bringing me back alive. Either they gonna kill me, or I'm gonna kill them. And I'm gonna give everything that I got to make sure they bleed. How they want us to bring that boy back, boss? They, 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 they say dead or, or, or alive, boy. But, 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 if it's on dead. That nigga think he better than us, boss. That nigga think he can read and everything, he think he better than us, boss. I'm gonna kill that nigga anyway, boss. I don't like that nigga, boss. He's gonna get his ass. Don't get it! Anything you say, boss. That's why I watch the brain, boss. Help, y'all. Help her, boy. Help her. Say the boy, you in or what? Say the boy. Yeah, yank, boy. That's your bad bet, though. That's your bad bet. I kill everybody that don't want to listen to me tonight, boss. Master sent me, man. Master sent me for what? Hey, 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 hey boy. We, we, we got dog to do. You, 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 you come with us or not, boy? Uh, look him, man. I don't like you, but I hate Bray even worse. Now, if you down with catching this nigga and killing him, I'm down with you. But, you ain't gonna tell me what to do. Well, let me tell you something. Massa put me in charge. Boss put me in charge. We gon' get great. You put up or you a guest up. You make the city. Need you, dog. Need you. Cause we have no dog or nothing. You up.
We look for Gray. And boy, we know Gray, your brother. I don't know where he at. I don't know, I don't know what y'all coming to ask me for. I don't know where he at. He you know some brother. boy. He my brother, but I don't know where he at, though. You know some boy. You going with us, boy? No, I ain't going with y'all for what? What I need to go with y'all for? I'm going nowhere with y'all for what? It's like I'm going to kill that nigga Gray. What, what I'm going with y'all You want to go with him? No, I, wanna, I ain't going nowhere with y'all. I think he want to feel heat, boy. Uh, you want to feel heat, boy. One master here, boy. Bismillah, Rockman, or Rahim, Alhamdulillah, or Rabbil Alameen, Rockman, or Rahim, Man, Likio, Mekib. Or a religious uncle Tom who is doing the same thing today to keep Negroes defenseless in the face of attack that Uncle Tom did on the plantation to keep those Negroes defenseless in the, in the face of the attack of the clan in that day. It's more than just a rhyme. I'm like a protester, holding up a picket sign. Partner, it's our time. Tell me why you so afraid. You should be in the first car, riding in the motorcade. A hundred miles an hour, busting through the roadblock. Tell the government, can't stop, won't stop. But you won't start nothing, ain't got heart to stop nothing. You ain't down for the calls, part to stop front.